Tonight, Metro school employees are accusing a board member running for re-election of violating policy they helped create. New at 10 tonight, News Channel 5's Todd Walker is here to talk about candidates of any type. They are not allowed to stump for votes on school property. That's right, and that's what appears to have happened in this case during an in-service workday today. And that board member says she did it. With school about to go back into session, the employees are back to work and back to training. That was the case at Cane Ridge High School today. Bus drivers and monitors had a training session, and members of the school board were invited to wish them well. Yes, they are board members, but don't come to me on my work day soliciting votes for yourself. Employees who don't want to be identified say they got more than just well wishes. The only board members who showed up were those running for re-election. Cheryl Mays, Anna Shepard, and Joanne Brannon. Employees say it felt like all were soliciting votes, but Brannon in particular may have crossed a line when a campaign volunteer was passing out re-election pamphlets right outside the door. There's a clock right here, and she was standing directly in front of it and she would catch you when you went in. So this is the only clock tower outside of Cane Ridge High School and with my pedometer app on my phone, we're going to measure exactly how far that is from here to the property line. Let's go. It's 0.18 miles to the property line. That would be a clear violation of policy created by the Metro School Board. Brannon would have been on the board when it was last renewed in 2013. That policy says, quote, candidates or persons representing candidates may not distribute any type of campaign literature, flyers, etc. in school buildings or on school property. Metro Schools released a statement saying, quote, board members are always welcome and invited to district events. We have a strict policy against campaign activities on school property and during district events that applies to all political candidates. Late this evening, Dr. Brennan called me and admitted to passing out the pamphlets. When I asked if she knew it violated district policy, she responded with, quote, I was invited to participate and provide words of encouragement to the bus drivers and monitors, and that's all I have to say about it. Jessica, she says that she takes those pamphlets wherever she goes. Okay. All right, Todd. Well, it is not clear if Brennan could face any discipline for the violation.